can see our cloud key right here. It's got the uh, blue light. It's probably doing something. And unless <clears throat> you're going to follow this video or uh, this is, is in a lab, if this is production, do not do this. But I just unplugged it. So now we're going to see if when it powers back on, if it goes uh, back to blue or whether we successfully corrupted the database because I'm going to show you the other way assuming so last time that I had my problem I couldn't get to this at all from the network it, I, it was non-responsive so I couldn't get into the web interface to do the restore like some other people have suggested so what I'm hoping is that if if we did this correctly or incorrectly or whatever because you, we really shouldn't be uh, just pulling the you know pulling the power <clears throat> on these guys that uh, it will have messed up MongoDB um, but the device will still be accessible over the network nope so it went blue so let's try it again By the way, this is what lab stuff is for, lab equipment is for. Um, so and if this doesn't work, we'll hit it with the we'll hit it with the portal gun. Send it to another dimension. See what happens here. booting still looking good and as you can see so you know the last time we pulled the power it booted back up it turned blue so it doesn't happen every time but um, this time it's not uh, it's not turning blue so we may have uh, we may have given it the secret sauce so that that it is not going to go blue so i'm going to wait just another minute here and see if it goes blue and it doesn't look i've got i've got i gotta tell you i've personally got absolutely no confidence that this is going to turn blue so now what we got to do is check and make sure that this is accessible from the network Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. So let's talk about that blink and white light. So this is actually 24 hours from when I took that video. You know, we unplugged it. We caused the cloud key to fail. We simulated a, a power outage. And so some other people were telling me that you could restore the backup file, we could log in, we could run a database command. So let's try a couple of these things real quick. Now, luckily, I am able to get to the web interface on this. I was not able to get to this web interface when I had my problem, which is why I did the complete factory reset. This time I'm able to get to this. So there's a couple different things we can do. We can run a MongoDB repair and of course we would stop Unify but that's if Unify is even running. But first we'll show you that Unify is not running so when we go to 8443 the connection completely fails, completely tanks hence the the white light that is blinking back there right? So if we go to configure your cloud key and we'll see if we can remember our password We can come into maintenance and we can see that Unify is not running because we have the option to start Unify. Now we can restore from a file, so it's a file that we'd have downloaded, or we can restore from an auto backup. But someone else also said that you can run this the Mongo Repair DB, which does work, and this is the, the correct path, and then you can start Unify. So let's try that. So let's SSH over to the cloud key. And 
we'll see. We'll we'll do it just for grands. Now we're root. So we'll do service unify stop. Unify didn't appear to be running. Anyway, based on this information, let's refresh this. Yeah, we've still got the same prompts. But we'll come over here and we will run this MongoDB repair, which does work. You can find this out there. It does work occasionally. And so this went through and did a bunch of stuff. They've still got the blinking light. So now let's do a service unify start and see what happens. I still have a blinking white light, but it does look like Unify is starting. It looks like it. That's good. Oh, we've got a, a, something else happening here. Still got a blinking white light. Still have a blinking white light. Let's refresh this. And here I still have start unify. So let's let's uh, log out of this. We'll log out. Okay, log out doesn't work. So we'll just go back to the main interface here. Still have a blinking white light. Now I have nothing with my unify. Now I have nothing at all. I'm still SSH'd into it, but now I have a blue light, so that did work. Restoring that way did work. I was just a little impatient. It took a little bit, a uh, little bit of time. The other thing that we could have done is under the actual configuration. Is if the database repair failed, we could do an auto backup. But let's actually log in here real quick and see if all the information is good. Unify is loading kind of slow. That's to be expected the first time. Password's probably wrong. Okay, and here it is, just as we left it. So you can also repair it that way. So there are a couple different ways that you can do that, and I, I wanted to show that. So you can do the database repair like we did, and I'll put those down in the, I'll put that command down in the description, uh, along with links to Cloud Key, and, or you could have done the, Could have gone through here and done the maintenance tab and then restored from one of these backups and that should also get you back up and going if you can get to the device I couldn't get to the device I happen to know that the backup was running so I I you know I hit the the fail safe key and away we went. So that's it. I wanted to just follow up on this before we moved along to anything else. We had a lot of great responses, so I wanted to show that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down there. And as always, I will see you in the next video.